Hey gang, this is Mike with my real estate dojo. And I hear all the time that you need money to make money. And I'm here to tell you that you don't need money to make money in America. And that's why the grass is so green here. That's why people like myself, immigrants, refugees, migrate miles and miles and thousands of miles to get to America. Because America is a land of opportunity. This is a great country. So you don't need any money. You don't need any credit. You don't need anything to make money in America. Now, you hear a lot of people tell you that you need money. And the people that are telling you that you need money is number one, bankers, and then maybe your friends and family that haven't made any money or have jobs are telling you that you need money. So simply put, only fools will tell you that you need money to make money. Because in America, you don't need any money. What you do need to make money is you need imagination, you need creativity, and you need fucking hard work, and you need persistence. If you don't have all these four ingredients, then you will need to, to borrow money from a lender. But if you have imagination, you have creativity, you don't need any money. I started my moving company right out of college, living in my car. Instead of getting a job, taking $35,000, $40,000 a year working at a cubicle, I said, you know, fuck the man, let me live in my car. I had about a hundred bucks. With a hundred bucks, I turned that into a moving company, drmove.com, which I've owned almost 15 years now. From that business, I turned into Mr. Investor, and then I turned that into Plug-in Realty. And so what I'm gonna tell you is that I only had a hundred bucks. I can't spell, I can't even read that great. I don't have any connections. When I came to America, we were refugees. We didn't even know left from right. We didn't even speak the language. So if I can do it as an immigrant to America, you sure can do it. I guarantee you can. I know you hear people tell you you can't do it is because they're bankers or they're just fools. That they, they have jobs, they work in cubicles, so they don't know what it really takes to make it. I guarantee you that 99.9% .9 of all businesses in America, you can do it with no money. Now, when I say you can do it with no money, maybe the, if you, for example, when I started my moving company, I needed to buy trucks. The trucks cost money, but I used my imagination. What I did is I used my customer's money to fund for my truck. Instead of going to a Bank of America and getting a loan, me being debt to them, what I used is I start advertising, I start creating leads, and I used my customer's deposit money to go out there and buy a truck. And I, didn't, I wasn't able to just run out there and buy a truck. What I had to do is get their money, buy rental trucks, keep using rental trucks. My profit margin was basically so little, but I didn't care because I was persistent. I believed in the hard work. Eventually, that little amount of money that I had in profits started piling up. And I, whatever it piled up, I took that money, reinvested it by the truck. Now I didn't have to fucking rent trucks anymore. And that truck now that I owned it, clear and clear, I never borrowed money from it, now my profit margin went from this much to this much. After a couple of months, after a couple of years, I took that profit, bought a second truck, and so on and so on. So the point of the story is, you don't need no fucking money, you don't need no credit, you don't even need any connections, you don't even need to speak English. All you need is imagination, creativity, hard work, and persistence, and you could be whatever you wanna be in America. Don't take no for answer, don't listen to all the naysayers that tell you you can't do it. If it's your friend, if it's your family, if it's your wife, if it's your husband, if it's your cousin, if it's the bankers, if it's the professionals. Don't listen to those people, okay? You know, when I got into real estate investing, every realtor I talked to, they said, oh, you can't buy subject to. Every attorney I talked to, they say, hey, you can't buy a subject to. And, and, and the truth was, I can buy subject to. I've already done it multiple times. And the reason all these professionals that I talked to they didn't know what to do is because they're the 95 percenters. These are the people that go borrow money to start a business or go borrow money to get in debt for school. And so they don't, they don't know what imagination is. They don't know what creativity is. They never had to flex their fucking brain muscles. They went on the traditional path. And so 95% of the attorneys, the realtors told me, hey, you can't buy subject two. Only 5% of attorneys told me you can't buy it. And I had to go to so many no's to find that one real estate attorney that's gonna help me structure my deals, help me teach me that, hey, this is possible. It's not the traditional way to do it. 95% of people are not gonna go this way. So simply put, 
Don't take no for an answer. When you want something in life, you gotta go fucking hustle and bustle. You can't just take Bob's answer for no, Sally's answers for no. Who cares if they have a PhD? Who cares if they're fucking doctors? Who cares if they're fucking attorneys? Who cares? Because it doesn't matter if you're a trash picker, if you're a doctor, if you're the 95%, you're just part of the herd. Only 5% of all professionals, if it's a trash picker, if it's an investor, if it's a photographer, are gonna go the extra mile. They're willing to go to the path that not carved out for them. So if you wanna be successful in America, you don't need no fucking money, you don't need no fucking credit. All you need is hard work, imagination, creativity, and persistence. And persistence is one of the most important things on top of imagination and creativity because if you have nothing and you wanna turn it into something, the first thing is you need an idea, imagination, creativity. And then you need persistence and the hard work to keep feeling it, keep feeling it, keep feeling it, to be able to turn nothing into something. So end of the day, guys, I guarantee you, you don't need any money. That's why all these immigrants and refugees come to America. That's why so many people have turned 100 bucks into something, 200 bucks into something. I mean, you can learn about so many entrepreneurs, like that guy that does the Paul Mitchell. That guy started with 200 bucks, okay? Look where he is now. Or the guy with Atari. Man, they, I don't know if you guys remember Atari a long time ago before Nintendo and Sega Genesis and all that good stuff. That guy started with 200 bucks and turned that into multi-millions. So, don't just believe me. Google this shit. Read about other people that did it with no fucking money. Read about people in third world countries that come here and do it. So don't just listen to me and say, oh, Mike's trying to sell me some shit because I'm not trying to sell you anything. I know you have it inside you to go where the fuck you want. There's no reason to work for the man. There's no reason to work for a fucking cubicle. There's no reason to work a nine to five where you can't spend time with your family, your kids, or do whatever the fuck you want. Fuck that. This is America. You can turn nothing into something. As long as you have creativity, you have imagination, and you have hard fucking work, and you're persistent. Don't take no for an answer, gang. Go out there and hustle and bustle. 2016 is your year. See you later, gang.